we've got my Galaxy S9. So we'll plug that in. Again, just over USB-C. And we're going to power it using the uh, adapter because it really does take the, uh, the charge out of the phone pretty quick. And the interesting thing about the Galaxy line of phones is that you get this Samsung Dex uh, desktop environment. So you can actually uh, link up a mouse and a keyboard and this becomes your place where you can work uh, on a nice big screen. And your phone screen is separate from what you're seeing on the screen here. So you can open up Chrome browser uh, and do work in there or your email, whatever. Like I said, you can power it from the phone, but it really does take up a lot of the power out of the battery. Uh, and it looks like now that I've plugged the power into here, this is actually charging the phone at the same time through that power cable. So that's pretty cool. I've been using this screen for about a week with my laptop. Uh, I've got that mounted using the mounting holes on the back onto a monitor stand, uh, and it's been great. The clarity on the screen is really nice. It, it's sharp. Uh, there is a sharpness setting in the menus uh, that's set to 2 by default. I did try turning that off and it does make it worse. It looks nice with that sharpening uh, that they're applying to the screen. Uh, there's very little light bleed on this particular unit. I've seen some people complain uh, on theirs, so just watch out which unit you get uh, and whether it's to your taste. Um, but mine has been absolutely fine uh, for viewing things in the daylight. Uh, and the, uh, the color balance just seems about right. Um, I don't think it'll blow you away, but for the price, uh, this is a good screen and I like the fact that it's uh, compact, uh, portable, and has a, a multitude of uses. So overall for the price, and I paid about £140, uh, the price does vary on Amazon. Uh, I've seen it go up to about 180 um, but I did find this on eBay for around £140. Uh, I'm really happy with that. Uh, I think because of that flexibility, of mounting it or not, the portability uh, and the connectors that this one has compared to others where it's just USB-C. Uh, I think this gives it the edge over those. Uh, I don't need touchscreen. Like I said, the speakers are a little bit weak, but yeah, they're, they're pretty good for what they are. Uh, but the connectivity on this is uh, superb. So uh, from me, it's a big thumbs up uh, and I would recommend it. Let me know in the comments if you've got any feedback or if you've got any questions and I'm happy to answer those. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.